Hello. Today, within the framework of the draft legislative news of the Minister of Justice, we'll introduce you to, to the brief content of the legislation adopted during the week. First of all, the government decision number 271 and measures to simplify the procedures for the provision of public service in the field of road safety was adopted. According to the decision from August 1, 2021, the following public services are provided through the single inter interactive public service portal. Registration of training groups of legal entities providing non-government education services on training, retraining and professional development of drivers of auto transport and urban electric vehicles. Registration of documents and national driver's license for admission to examinations from candidates for driving transport vehicles and municipal electric vehicles. All relevant documents for registration of training groups from 1st of August 2022 as well as for registration of documents for admission to examination from candidates for driving and a national driver's license are provided only through the single part of interactive public services. From September 1, 2021, a power of attorney notarized for driving motor vehicles, information on the technical examination, permission to change the tone of the windows of motor vehicles, that is blackout, will be transferred to the electronic form and the procedures for requesting these documents from the drivers will be cancelled. Until 1st of July 2021, the authorities of road safety service will ensure the complete launch of automated electronic systems integrated into the single interactive public service portal. Another government decision number 272 on addition measures to attract the private sector to the field of conducting examinations to obtain driver's license, which gives the right to control the means of transport. According to the decision from 1st of June 2021, entrepreneurs who have a license for the training, retraining and provision of non-governmental educational service for the drivers of motor vehicles and urban electric vehicles uh, were given the right to take theoretical and practical examinations to obtain a driver's license, which gives the right to control all categories of motor vehicles. Previously, this procedure was carried out by the State Traffic Safety Service of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and its regional divisions. This procedure does not apply to obtaining a driver's license, which gives the right to manage trolleybus and trams. Decree number 293 of the Cabinet of Ministers on measures to solve organizational issues related to the establishment of new Namangan district within the Namangan city of Namangan region was adopted. According to the decision, the new Namangan district municipality was established within the city of Namangan. In the district, with the allocation of additional state units, the judicial department, the center of public services, and many other offices were established. Until 1st of December 2022, taking into account the administrative territorial border of the district, the general plan of the city of Namangan for 2040 will be developed. The order of the establishment of industrial and entrepreneurial zones of the use was established. The next document was approved by the decree number 294 of the government on the regulation of the youth industrial and entrepreneurial zone and the fund for support for young entrepreneurs. According to the document, the order of organization of industrial and entrepreneurial zones of youth was established. According to the statute, a young entrepreneur is a citizen of Uzbekistan who has reached the age of 18 and does not exceed the age of 30 and who has reached the age of 18 and does not exceed the age of 30 and who wishes to carry out an investment project in the status of a legal entity or in the direction of industry or service as its founders. The industrial zones of young people are organized only in the production areas where this is easy to conduct engineering and technical communications which are not functioning and on land areas that are not intended for agriculture. Young entrepreneurs wishing to place their investment projects in industrial zones submit the relevant documents to the district or city investment and foreign trade departments. The decision of the working group on the placement of investment projects shall be taken within 10 calendar days from the date of submission of documents and a positive or rejection conclusion shall be provided about it. Investment projects that meet the following requirements will have priority in the placement of young people in industrial zones are as follows. Startup investment projects that provide the establishment of patent-based production, investment projects for the production of innovative goods, 
investment projects envisaging the production of competitive domestic industrial goods, which are imported in substitutes and export-oriented. At least 70% of the new jobs to be created are designed for young people investment projects that provide employment for young people who are included in the youth book, for employment not provided for. The determination of the boundaries of land plots for the placement of an investment project is carried out within five working days on the basis of the conclusion of working groups by the relevant district or city departments of the cadastral agency under the state tax committee. Another important document regarding the days off. With the decree number PF6222 of the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, amendments were introduced to the decree number PF6122 adopted on December 3, 2020. In accordance with the amendment, the following dates were also marked as additional holidays in 2021. 14th of May, Friday, 31st of December, Friday, also, the following weekends are moved on weekdays. 17th of July from Saturday to 21st of July Wednesday. 24th of July from Saturday to 22nd of July Thursday. In addition, 15th of May, Saturday, 21st of July Wednesday, 22nd of July Thursday are also considered weekends for all employees, regardless uh, of the type of working week. Thank you for your concern. With the full text of these documents, you can get acquainted with the news on the law through the website lex.us and on the Telegram channel of the Ministry of Justice.